When Rome traveled through the interstellar era 10,000 years later and only then did she know that she was the female protagonist of the ancient sadistic love story, who was framed by Bai Lianhua, sent to prison by a scumbag, forced to donate her kidney, and ultimately abused to the point where she had no ashes left. After dressing up as the little princess of the interstellar realm, she worked diligently in her career and finally was crowned as the queen of the interstellar realm. However, on the day she ascended the throne, she wore it back. The scumbag said, Wen Rong, donating your kidney to Chu Wei is like atonement. Bai Lianhua said, Brother Xiohan loves me. He won't believe you, so you can sit in jail and wear it. Wen Rong smiled. Kidney donation. Atonement. Sitting at the bottom of the prison. A scumbag has abused me a thousand times, and I treat him like first love. Sorry, this sadistic love script, I won't accompany you anymore. Ten days later, when Rome was released from prison. A sensation across the entire network. After being released from prison, reversing the case and washing away the white lotus, when Rome tore open the true face of the white lotus, packaged the scumbag in the white lotus, and sent them to prison. Leaving the circle to start a business, when Rome revitalizes a bankrupt entertainment company, rewrites the tragic ending of his father and brother, and leads the whole family to the peak. Scientific research and innovation, solving the virus crisis, leading the space fleet to resist the invasion of alien civilizations. It is widely known on the internet that Wen Rong is a beautiful vase with singing, dancing, and empty space. During the interview, she said that her journey is the sea of stars. Black fans all over the internet mocked, do you also deserve a little scumbag? Brain disabled fans. Sister, you must be able to shine with stars. Later, she sat on a starship shuttling between the countless stars in the universe, becoming the guardian angel of the blue star. I won't be able to deal with both the black fans and fans. Jiang Si said, Princess One, you guard the blue star, and I guard you. Spanning thousands of years, protecting your lifelong peace. Keywords of the novel the sadistic female protagonist who returns from the interstellar space explodes without a pop dot up window, the sadistic female protagonist who returns from the interstellar space explodes with a full download of the TXT series, and the sadistic female protagonist who returns from the interstellar space explodes with the latest chapter reading. Chapter 1 The sadistic female protagonist who returns from the interstellar space. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 1. The sadistic female protagonist who returns from the interstellar space, Wenrong, after signing this organ donation agreement, I will let you go. The man's cold and indifferent voice sounded in his ear, vaguely familiar. When Rong opened his eyes and found himself sitting on the interrogation chair, restricted in movement. Looking up, across from him was a young man in a suit and leather shoes. He has deep facial features, a cold and handsome face, and when he looks at her, his eyes are cold with an undisguised disgust. On the table in front of her, there was an organ donation consent form with a pen stuffed in her hand. When Wen Rong saw the signing pen, paper, and surrounding objects, he was amazed. Aren't these things supposed to stay in the ancient Blue Star Artifacts Exhibition Hall of the Interstellar Federation Museum? Who else would use these old objects these days? Upon seeing the square characters on the white paper, when Rome was momentarily stunned. Donator. When Rome donated organ. Left kidney recipient of organ donation. Yi Chu Wei she squinted her eyes and looked at the man in front of her, suddenly laughing. Her voice was sweet, but there was no warmth in her eyes. Little brother, do you want my kidney? No one in the All-Star Federation, including the Zerg Queen and her father, dares to dig out her warm kidney yet. Fu Xiuhan saw Wen Rong's bright and sweet smile, and for a moment he lost his composure. But then he frowned and said, Wen Rong, what tricks do you want to play again? You haven't met me in the detention center for just a few days. Wen Rong tilted his head and raised his eyebrows, do we know each other? Pretending to have amnesia. Fu Xiuhan's eyes were filled with contemptuous mockery, his voice cold, 
and every word was a rebuke. It was Chu Wei who was knocked unconscious by a car. What qualifications do you, a murderer, have to pretend to be innocent here? Chu Wei has been found to have kidney failure and needs a kidney replacement. You have successfully matched her, and now I give you a chance to redeem yourself. If you sign it, I will let you go and also let the Wen family go. Chu Wei is kind. As long as you donate a kidney to her, she will show you a letter of understanding to reduce your sentence. When wrong, what you have lost is just a kidney, but what Chu Wei has lost is the life she should have been perfect and flawless the playful smile on Wen Rong's face gradually disappeared, and he couldn't help but spit out a fragrance. Damn it, are you intellectually disabled? Fu Xiuhan was taken aback again. Although Wen Rong has always been arrogant and capricious, she is a wealthy and well-mannered daughter, and she has a deep affection for him. She always shows her best side in front of him. How could she swear at him? Wen Rong stared at Fu Xiuhan for a while, then suddenly remembered, as if a thousand years ago there were two foolish people who wanted to take her kidney, Fu Xiuhan. Wen Rong thought, it should be this name. Fu Xiuhan sneered softly, stop pretending. Wen Rong frowned, not expecting to be such a silly person. But she clearly remembers that today is an auspicious day for her to ascend to the throne and be crowned as the Empress of the Interstellar Federation. She has been a princess of the Star Federation for more than twenty years, evading her brothers, sisters, uncles, and parents, and killing them all. And the top federal commander, who had achieved great success, happened to be tricked by the Zerg and fell into a black hole and belched. This is exactly when she cleared all obstacles and had a bright future, but surprisingly, she came back wearing it again. Back in that ancient sadistic love script a thousand years ago. Becoming a sadistic female protagonist who was framed, imprisoned, and forced to donate her kidneys. When Rome looked silently out of the iron window, tears of noodles streaming down her heart. Ah, her empire, her throne if she had known she would wear it back, she shouldn't have fought for that position in the beginning. She should have gone from being the first commander and lying flat as a salted fish. When Rome now regrets it very much. Jiang Shan didn't catch it, and even the beauty didn't touch it. Just think of it as a dream, waking up is still very touching. End of this chapter. Chapter 2 Release from prison within 10 days. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 2 Release from prison within 10 days in the interstellar era thousands of years later, when Rome became the sixth princess of the Interstellar Federation. When she was raiding the mansion of her arch nemesis, she discovered an ancient sadomasochistic novel by the same name as the female protagonist, which wrote her extremely miserably, probably written by her arch nemesis to vent her anger. But what shocked her was that the past experience of the female leader in the sadistic text was exactly the same as when she was in Blue Star. In this way, when Rome suddenly realized that she was the person in the book, but for some reason she traveled to the interstellar era a thousand years later, replacing the novel's prototype, Princess Six of the Federation. But what she didn't expect was that she actually wore it back and went back to the sadistic novel her arch-nemesis wrote for her to vent her anger. I won't mention my past prospects for now. The good dot looking fool in front of her, named Fu Xiuhan, is her former fiancé A. She and he are in a business alliance. Under the descending intelligence aura imposed on her by her arch-nemesis to vent her anger, she insisted on marrying Fu Xiuhan, so her father resorted to any means to facilitate this marriage alliance. But Fu Xiuhan had a childhood sweetheart named by Yueguang Yi Chu Wei, who spared no expense in creating Rose Entertainment to promote her debut and achieve her reputation as a little queen in the music industry. In order to cater to Fu Xiuhan's interests, Wen Rong also entered the entertainment industry, singing and composing songs. It's just that she doesn't have all five notes, and her singing relies solely on her biological father throwing money to support her. Even her biological father spends money to help her take leave to sing, which was later exposed and ridiculed by the entire internet. Shi Wenrong and Yi Chu Wei are a control group, 
one is a clown who is sensationalized and has no family background or appearance, and the other is a pure, elegant, and talented goddess in the music industry. Originally, she and Fu Xiuhan were about to get married, but during crucial moments such as meeting their parents, taking wedding photos, and getting engaged, Fu Xiuhan frequently broke up on appointments because Yi Chu Wei had something to do. The more she thought, the angrier she became, so she warned Yi Chu Wei to stay away from Fu Xiuhan and even spoke harshly. Yi Chu Wei invited her to meet and talk, saying that as long as she gave her five million, she would leave Fu Xiuhan. When Rong, as the wealthiest and most valuable person in Shanghai, never lacked money. She readily agreed, but to her surprise, Yi Chu Wei bribed her driver and made him drive towards her, injuring her. Afterwards, the driver confessed to her, saying that she had instructed her. She is at a loss for words. Fu Xiuhan personally sent her to prison and suppressed the Wen family to declare bankruptcy. But it's not enough. Fu Xiuhan not only asked her to sit through the prison, but also forced her to donate her kidney to Yi Chu Wei for redemption. After she was released from prison five years later, Fu Xiuhan continued to torture and humiliate her, but in the process of humiliation, he found out that he loved her and misunderstood and had a deep love affair with her. Even though Fu Xiuhan mistreated her countless times, causing her sadness and loss of loved ones, they still lived happily together in the end. What a bloody script for cerebral palsy even though Wen Rong has long forgotten the brainless emotions bestowed upon her by the original script, she still remembers her enemy writing this bloody plot. When Rome quickly recalled her past experiences and sadistic plot, taking a deep breath. Now, she is no longer the sadistic female protagonist with cerebral palsy, she is the star empress Wen Rome who has returned from the interstellar realm. No one wants to harm her kidneys. Fu Xiuhan across from him seemed impatient, his knuckled fingers slightly curled, and he tapped the table with a cold expression in his eyes. Wen Rome, I don't have much patience. Please sign quickly. This is all you owe Chu Wei, he said when Rong couldn't help but roll her eyes and said the most arrogant words in the softest and sweetest voice, get lost, I won't sign. Fu Xiuhan was stunned again, feeling that today's when Rong was somewhat abnormal. Do you want to pretend to be mentally ill and get rid of the blame? Dreaming. Fu Xiuhan felt that he saw through when Rong's attempt and sneered, since you don't sign then you can redeem yourself in the imperial prison for the next ten years. And just as Fu Xiuhan turned around and left, Wen Rong broke the lock of the interrogation chair and was able to move freely. She moved her wrist and looked at Fu Xiuhan's back with a light smile. Do you want me to be imprisoned for ten years? I can leave this damn place within ten days. Fu Xiuhan didn't turn his head back and said, idiotic thoughts. When Rome squinted her eyes and stretched lazily like a lazy cat, then let's wait and see. As for defending against Fu Xiuhan and seeking justice. No need. Before going to prison, she had already shouted countless times that she was wronged, but Fu Xiuhan didn't believe her at all. However, before when Rome could stretch his muscles and bones enough, one hand was handcuffed. The other end of the handcuffs was held in the hand of a young man with a devilish and handsome appearance. Men have beautiful peach blossom eyes that sparkle like smiles, as if they can captivate the soul. He was wearing a black police uniform, but he had a lazy temperament like a playboy. When Wen Rong saw his handsome and familiar face, he was slightly stunned and blurted out, Why are you still alive? End of this chapter Chapter 3 First Commander. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 3 First Commander The man in front of me looks exactly like the unlucky First Commander who fell into the black hole. Jiang Si has never seen such an arrogant criminal before. He held the other handcuffs in his hand and pulled Wen Rong closer. His peach blossom eyes narrowed slightly, and his voice sounded lazy and pleasant. Do you want to escape from prison? When Rome looked at the handcuffs on his wrist and frowned at him, Jiang Si, you're reckless. Jiang Si raised his eyebrows, thinking that this little girl is really quite arrogant. Pry the lock in front of him, curse him to death, 
and scold him so arrogantly. Boss, do you think we should do another psychiatric assessment for her? Maybe there's really a problem here. A head peeked out from the iron window, revealing a young man dressed in casual clothes. Chin Shu pointed to his head with a skeptical expression on his face. When Rong glared at him and said, that's the problem with you. When she looked at Chin Shu, she suddenly smiled and said, it seems like there's really something wrong with your brain. Just now, she instinctively scanned Chin Shu with mental energy, and then saw a tumor inside his skull. Wen Rong also realized that her interstellar journey was not entirely a dream. At least her spiritual strength has improved, although it is far from the peak of her interstellar era, it can crush ancient humans like Blue Star who have not yet undergone spiritual brain development. Unfortunately, what she brought back could only be non-dot-material things such as spiritual power and knowledge and experience, and her intellect could not follow her back. Qin Shu didn't take Wen Rong's words seriously, only thought she was retaliating against him. No need, Jiang Si replied to Qin Shu and decisively handcuffed Wen Rong's other hand. Wen Rong looked silently at his handcuffed hands and opened his paw. Very good, this person is probably not the first commander of the empire, Jiang Si. Although Jiang Si is arrogant, he hasn't openly handcuffed her yet. However, this person seems to be called Jiang Si. The same name, appearance, and temperament are too coincidental, which makes one wrong somewhat uncertain. Let's go back to the prison cell. Jiang Si lightly patted her head and glanced at the number on her body. His tone was casual, as if endorsing, prisoner 1314, escaping from prison is not advisable. Don't think of anything wrong, behave well, strive for a reduction in sentence, reform, and start anew. When wrong. I am wrongly accused. Jiang Si raised his eyebrows and said, when people first come in here, they all complain about their grievances. I'm just a little prison guard, so it's useless to tell me. I'll file a lawsuit myself. When wrong. Oh. She also knew it was no use talking to Jiang Si, but she couldn't help but want to clarify her feelings towards the same face as an old acquaintance. When Rong obediently followed her back to prison, but before Jiang Si left, she pointed to her head and said meaningfully, Jiang Si, remind your little brother to check here. There's something inside. In terms of interstellar medical level, having a tumor in the brain is not a big deal, and the intelligent brain can also monitor and detect it in a timely manner. But according to the medical level of the ancient blue star in memory, if it's too late, you won't be able to return to the sky. She's not sure if this person is the Jiang Si she knows yet, but selling personal relationships is always good, with multiple friends and multiple paths. Jiang Si obviously didn't take it seriously, but he lazily agreed, okay, I'll pass it on to him for you. I also think he's probably having some brain problems. When Rome returned to the women's prison dormitory and closed the iron door. Several women dressed in prison uniforms who were originally resting around an infantfin gathered around with unfriendly eyes. Oh, Miss Wen has returned. Do you really think that Fu will always save you? To be honest, it's Fu who has asked us to take good care of you these days. It's really better to be a chicken than a phoenix that is in dire straits. Those female prisoners are round in waist and thick in arms, none of whom are good people. The lights in the prison dormitory stretched out their figures, and when Rome, who was trapped in the middle, appeared fragile and deceitful. End of this chapter Chapter 4 Four eyes facing each other, awkwardly silent. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 4 Four eyes facing each other awkwardly silent when Rome lowered her eyes and smiled softly. Just as a few female prisoners started pushing and shoving, trying to grab her hair and slap her in the face like before, when Rome also started. She had the chips to leave here, but she obediently returned to the prison dormitory to experience prison life. After stepping out of the sadistic novel script and breaking free from the submissive persona, she is actually quite vengeful. She still has some scars on her body, all caused by these people. 
she certainly needs to return it to feel at ease. Although I haven't brought back the PowerPoints of the Interstellar era, the combat skills are still in my mind. It's enough to deal with these people with well-developed limbs and simple minds. Jiang Si, who had just left, frowned when he heard the noise from afar. Although the little girl is neurotic, she seems to be a spoiled young lady, and her small body is not easily beaten. For the sake of her kind reminder to Qin Shu, let's help her change her dormitory. Upon hearing the sound of fighting, Jiang Si's footsteps flew fast, quickly unlocked the door, pushed it open, and then saw such a scene, seven burly women were lying on the ground, in pain, hugging their arms and legs, moaning incessantly, and blurring their words, begging for mercy and apologizing. And in his impression, one Rong, who was delicate and deceitful, stood in the middle, stepping on the back of one of the people's hands, with a sweet and gentle smile on her face. When Rong heard the sound of the door opening and looked up, just in time for Jiang Si's stunned gaze at the entrance. Four eyes facing each other, speechless. The atmosphere was somewhat awkward for a moment. When Rong's smile converged. I didn't expect Jiang Si to come back. Jiang Si didn't expect this little girl to be so lethal. The female prisoners on the ground saw Jiang Si as if they saw a savior. Help. I'm in excruciating pain. Please change our dormitory for us. Jiang Si casually glanced at the female prisoners on the ground, then turned to Wen Rong. Wen Rong's face remained unchanged as she withdrew the foot she had stepped on the back of someone else's hand. Her deer like eyes were clear and innocent, as if it wasn't her who had just taken over the entire dormitory. Jiang Si's peach blossom smiled with a hint of interest in her eyes, and her gaze lingered on the bruise on Wen Rong's wrist for a moment before asking, Do you want to change dormitories? The female prisoners on the ground showed surprise on their faces and spoke urgently, Change, change. Change, change. Wen Rong frowned and spoke in a soft and domineering voice, Don't exchange. Line. Jiang Si smiled lazily and casually put away the keychain before slamming the door shut. The female prisoners on the ground looked disillusioned and said, Dot. When Rome stared thoughtfully at the iron door for several seconds, then sat down by the bed, propping her cheeks with one hand, and smiled sweetly at the women on the ground, saying, We're just starting. What's the rush? Hmm. This smile made their hair stand on end. The nightmare began from then on. When Rome claims to be a very principled person, a tooth for tooth, an eye for an eye. She takes care of her no matter how many people have taken care of her before. On that day, someone came to visit the prison again. The newcomer was dressed in a tattered shirt, with a scruffy beard. In his early forties, he was already in a state of decline, indicating that life was very difficult. This man is her father, Wen Songza. He was originally the richest person in Xincheng and the CEO of Matsutake Entertainment, but because of her daughter, the company went bankrupt, he was burdened with debt, and his wife and children were separated. His villas and mansions have all been auctioned off and are now on the streets. Rong Rong, don't worry, Dad will definitely rescue you and make you innocent. Fu Xiuhan, that heartless man with blind eyes and blind hearts, actually believed Yi Chue's little bitch's words and treated you so harshly. You won't like him again in the future. End of this chapter Chapter 5 To Your Superior You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 To Your Superior, You Must Cherish Yourself Although we have two kidneys, don't dig one for that heartless man and smash it for that little bitch Yi Chu Wei. When Songza angrily scolded Fu Xiuhan and Yi Chu Wei, and then looked at his petite and frail daughter inside the iron window, his eyes filled with heartache. When Rome looked at her father, who had not seen him for over a decade, through the iron window, feeling complex and indescribable. Since crossing into the interstellar era, breaking away from the sadistic love script and becoming the sixth princess of the Federation, now looking back at the people and events in the sadistic text, she feels like an outsider. Now returning to the book and experiencing it firsthand, 
I couldn't help but feel moved. In the distant interstellar era, there was gender equality, and both imperial princes and princesses enjoyed equal inheritance rights to the throne. As a federal princess, she was born in a vortex of power, and even if she didn't want to fight, she was forced to do so. Fraudulent and deceitful, scheming and fighting, vying for power and power she has not experienced such pure family affection for a long time. When Somza was still chattering incessantly like an old lady, completely unaware of one Rome's abnormality. She remained silent only when she was framed and imprisoned. After a while, when Rome finally spoke up and said, Okay, Dad. When Somza was taken aback and looked at the once stubborn and stubborn little daughter in surprise. Rome Rome, what did you just say? When Rome's eyes warmed a bit and his voice was gentle. Dad, I won't like Fu Xiuhan anymore, and my kidney won't give to Yi Chu Wei. When Somza grabbed the iron railing and his eyes instantly turned red. Okay, Rome Rome, just think it through and don't be fooled by that scumbag again. Wait for Dad to rise up again, save you, and continue to let you be the little princess of Matsutake Entertainment. What kind of man do you want? When Rome felt that waiting for her father to rise again might not be as fast as starting from scratch. Dad, I'm sorry. It was me who was stubborn and insisted on marrying Fu Xiuhan that caused trouble for the company. Although those were all intellectual decline behaviors dominated by the plot, the harm actually occurred because of her. When Rome knows that Wen Songza is a brainless daughter slave and won't blame her, but she still wants to apologize to him. When Somza looked at Wen Rome in surprise, and then his eyes became even more distressed. Rome Rome, you understand now, he said, if it weren't for dad being useless and not protecting you, you wouldn't have been forced to be so sensible. You could have been the carefree little princess. When Somza's voice choked up, and his tone was filled with self-blame. When Rome lowered her eyes and couldn't help but laugh at herself in her heart. Silly dad, your carefree little princess is now the capable federal empress who has crowned all members of the interstellar empire royal family. When Somza spoke excitedly, you can't be blamed for what happened back then. You didn't do anything wrong, you just boldly pursued your love. You're not wrong. It's Fu Xiuhan and Yi Chu Wei who are wrong. My daughter is so kind, how could she possibly buy murder? It must have been framed. Since Fu Xiuhan is engaged to you, he shouldn't have been ambiguous with that little bitch. It's time. Until someone reminded him outside, when Songza reluctantly bid farewell to Wen Rong and kept promising to rescue her. Wen Rong watched him leave. Still, Jiang Si escorted her back to the dormitory. Before returning, Wen Rong handed him a folded piece of paper and said, Give it to your superior. A pleading for justice. Jiang Si took it and casually opened it to take a look. His originally lazy expression suddenly faded away, and his peach blossom eyes narrowed slightly. He looked at Wen Rong with a slightly scrutinizing gaze and said, Where did you get this thing? End of this chapter. Chapter 6 Wen Rong's Innocence Release you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 6 When Rome's innocence released this is just an ordinary letter in prison, but the things drawn on it, if they can really be made, are enough to cause a sensation for the entire blue star. When Rome was not surprised by Jiang Si's reaction, and she could also see that this person was not simple. Moreover, in the past few days in prison, she has not been idle in abusing and retaliating against scumbags. She has also observed the management personnel and learned a lot of useful information from other prisoners. For example, the person in front of Jiang Si is not an ordinary prison guard, but a playboy with a good family background. For example, although Jiang Si is carefree, he is still quite upright. That's why she chose to ask him to submit the drawings. Faced with Jiang Si's vigilant and oppressive gaze, when Rome smiled without any pressure and pointed to her own forehead, it's from here. Jiang Si gave her a deep glance, feeling that his cognition had been refreshed once again. I'll pass it to you. Jiang Si carefully folded the paper, 
received it in his pocket, and then looked at Wen Rong, asking, Miss 1314, what do you want? Wen Rong stared at him and said, I'm going out. I'm acquitted, understand. Also, my name is not 1314, my name is Wen Rong. Jiang Si chuckled lightly and said, Okay, little girl from the Wen family, I'll convey it to you. Wen Rong squinted her eyes, feeling that this Jiang Si looked much more pleasing and useful than the one she knew. If it were her past, perhaps she would be very concerned about her innocence and reputation. But after experiencing the cruel internal strife of the interstellar royal family, she deeply knows that sometimes the pure may not necessarily be self-righteous, but the strong will never dare to offend. As long as she can demonstrate sufficient strength and interests, there is no need for her to prove her innocence. Even if she is black, someone can wash her away. Returning from the interstellar era, her future technological knowledge is her biggest bargaining chip. She has sorted out her memories in the past few days and can roughly locate the current technological level of Blue Star. Too advanced, like many things from the interstellar era, the current Blue Stars cannot be created yet. The blueprint she just brought out is a scientific and technological weapon slightly ahead of Blue Star's current era. Capable of keeping sea countries' military level ahead of other countries on Blue Star for decades. What if Fu Xiuhan is the dominant CEO male lead of this book? Can you cover the sky with one hand and still surpass the national machinery? One week later, when Rome was released from prison without charge due to insufficient evidence. On the day of release, everyone in the prison dormitory wished to set off firecrackers and cheer. This plague god and evil star has finally left. After being released from prison, when Rome did not immediately go home. Instead, he was secretly taken to a place and asked to draw all the details of the blueprint before leaving. This is when Rome's backup to prevent credit from being falsely claimed. Although she has been in the interstellar era for many years and knows people fairly well, as the ultimate winner of the imperial throne struggle, she cannot easily trust Jiang Si as a stranger. In addition, when Rome was secretly appointed as the chief consultant for this project and signed a confidentiality agreement, prohibiting the disclosure of the drawings. Only by handling these matters well can when Rome move freely. The Wen family went bankrupt, their houses and cars were auctioned off, and the load was heavy, so when she was released from prison, she was also penniless. When Rome simply borrowed some money from Jiang Si and asked him to accompany him to the mall to buy a mobile phone and several sets of clothes. Now that when Rome's identity is unusual, Jiang Si, as a minority informant and also transferred to protect her, naturally won't refuse her small request. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 My daughter is not a murderer. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 7 My daughter is not a murderer because he knew that Fu Xiuhan liked Yi Chue's simple and elegant appearance, and Wen Rong's previous attire was also somewhat plain and elegant. But now that she's out of control of the plot, she just wants to be herself. She didn't insist on a completely opposite and seductive style, but instead replaced it with her usual sweet and lively look, full of vitality and vigor. Jiang Si felt slightly lost when he saw the girl walking out of the fitting room. The girl has short hair that fits her ears and is wearing a simple light pink dress. Her skin is cold and white like porcelain, her eyebrows and eyes are lively, and her smile is sweet and delicate. He has seen many sweet girls both inside and outside the circle, but he has never seen one so sweet, especially when she smiles in front of the mirror. Is it pretty? When Rong looked at Jiang Si in the mirror and asked with a smile. When Jiang Si was wearing plain clothes, he smiled with a hint of rashness. He generously praised him and cooperated by clapping his palm, it's absolutely beautiful. He had seen the girl fight, and the sweeter her smile, the more ruthless she acted. TSK, I can't afford to provoke you. Having vision. When Rome snorted lightly and straightened her slightly dry short hair in front of the mirror. Her eyebrows furrowed slightly, feeling a bit annoyed. It's all thanks to Fu Xiuhan's silly behavior of sending her to prison. 
Her long hair, which had been maintained for many years, was cut off with just a few cuts. After feeling sorry for her hair, Wenrong decided to go get a haircut first. The hairstyle just came out of prison is too ugly. The head can be broken, blood can flow, and the hairstyle should not be messy. Jiang Si followed behind helplessly, suddenly regretting that he shouldn't have come to be the bodyguard of this young lady out of curiosity. It's so easy to be a prison guard. When Rong has become accustomed to using the intelligent brain of the interstellar era, but now she suddenly starts using this glass-like phone and feels a bit uncomfortable. Fortunately, she still has memories of her past life on the ancient blue star and knows how to use it. Jiang Si looked at her fidgeting with her phone beside her, his expression slightly confused, as if he had seen the person from the mountaintop cave. Miss Wen, I said, you haven't been inside for a few days. Why does it look like you've been isolated from the world for over a decade? Wen Rong smiled and looked up at him, are you curious about me? Jiang Si was indeed curious about her, otherwise he wouldn't have left his retired prison life and come to serve this young lady. But now he read another meaning from Miss Wen's smile. Curiosity killed the cat. Jiang Si lightly swiped his phone screen with his fingertips, and his peach blossom eyes smiled like crescent moon. Miss Wen, I just found out your father's whereabouts. Do you want to go find him now? Thinking of Wen Songza, who was impoverished and homeless after bankruptcy, Wen Rong's smile narrowed and he said, Where is my dad now? Take me to find him. In August, the heat wave in Shenzhen was rolling, and the sun was so big that it seemed like it was drying people out. Under the overpass. When Songza set up a small stall on the roadside selling pancakes. His flipping of pancakes was a bit clumsy, as he was sweating profusely due to the hot weather. There are many people around him, but not many actually come to him to buy pancakes. The others are some internet celebrities or paparazzi who are currently live streaming. Family members, take a look. This is the bankrupt CEO of Matsuzawa Entertainment, who has now fallen to the point of selling pancakes under the overpass. It's really satisfying. That's right. He deserves it. Who gave him a daughter of a murderer? When Rome, that malicious woman, dared to drive and murder our Vivi little queen. She has now been sent to prison by Mr. Fu. She is probably stepping on a sewing machine, uh -huh. Originally, when he heard reports of internet celebrities and paparazzi falling into a rock, when Songza could still endure his anger and fry pancakes. But when he heard that they were warm, he was furious. Shut the fuck up. My daughter is innocent. She is not a murderer. End of this chapter. In Chapter 8, you actually asked when Rome to come out. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. In Chapter 8, you actually asked when Rome to come out before, when Songza was silently frying pancakes with his head down. Now, with a sudden roar, everyone around him suddenly fell silent. There was no sound around, only the sound of cars coming and going. But then, someone in the crowd burst out laughing and said, Ha ha ha. Family members in the live broadcast, have you all heard me? Wen Rong has been in prison for so many days now, but Mr. Wen still doesn't admit the fact that his daughter is a murderer. The brief silence ended with a mocking laugh, and others continued to live stream, cursing and mocking, falling into the well and throwing stones. Your daughter is a murderer. I don't think he's a good person to have a daughter as vicious as Wen Rong. Are you still saying that Yi Chu Wei framed Wen Rong? It's ridiculous. Wen Rong's singing and dancing are useless, and acting relies on pouting and staring. What can compare to Yi Chu Wei? Sure enough, the murderer's father is also too vicious. Yi Chu Wei is still lying in the hospital, and he even broke dirty water on her. Wen Songza was so angry that he almost flipped the pancake stall open. He paused word by word and gritted his teeth, saying, I, the woman, the child, no, yes, kill, person, offend. His voice was hoarse and hoarse, as if he was about to shout his throat out. However, 
what came in exchange was increasingly rampant ridicule from the crowd, and some internet celebrities even grabbed the vegetable leaves and eggs used to make pancakes next to them and threw them at one Songza. Netizens watching the live stream of internet celebrities are cheering with barrage comments and gifts. The anchor did a great job. The father of such a murderer should have been hit by a car when he went out. Even smashing rotten eggs would be a cheap deal for him. Deserve it. Evil brings retribution. Fired rockets, the anchor helped me smash more. Let's vent our anger on Vivi. Seeing the increasing popularity of live streaming rooms and the constant emergence of virtual gifts, internet celebrities seem to have gone viral. They stand on the high ground of law and morality, condemning Wen Rong and Wen Songza, indulging in atrocities, but hanging the banner of acting on behalf of the heavens with a lofty sense of justice. You said Wen Rong wasn't a murderer, but you actually called her out. Can't you shout out? She's still stepping on the sewing machine in prison. The vegetable leaves and egg liquid fell on the body, making Wen Songza even more disheveled. As soon as Wen Rong got off the car, he saw this scene and his heart was suddenly grabbed, his hand hanging on his side also slightly clenched. Jiang Si frowned upon seeing this scene, picked up his phone and took a few photos of it. Then, he took out a black long-handled umbrella from the car and handed it to Wen Rong. This is the umbrella he always keeps in his car. Those internet celebrities and paparazzi are like crazy dogs trying to attract traffic. Jiang Si is worried that Wen Rong may be accidentally injured when he passes by, and using this can just block it. Thank you. Wen Rongjin was worried about not having something to use as a weapon. He took the long umbrella from Jiang Si's hand, weighed it in his hand, and walked towards the crowd with a smile on his face. Her smile still looked sweet, but her eyes were a chilling chill. Looking at her murderous back, Jiang Si said, dot. No, girl, did you misunderstand something? When Rong used a long umbrella to lift the people around Wen Songza away, and those who insisted on squeezing in directly lifted the umbrella handle and hit them on the wrist. The internet famous paparazzi suffered from pain and fell to the ground with their live streaming equipment in their hands, and were then kicked to the edge of the green belt by Wen Rong. Other paparazzi and internet celebrities saw this and moved away from the pancake stall with their live streaming devices, fearing that they too would suffer. Who are you? Dare to smash my things? Is this woman sick? Which psychiatric hospital did she run out of? How do you feel a bit familiar? End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Are you in Rome? You are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 9 Are You Wen Rong? Wen Rong saw no one around Wen Songza anymore smashing vegetable leaves and eggs, so she lightly pressed the umbrella switch, propped up the umbrella, and looked at the shrinking internet famous paparazzi. The scorching summer sun shone brightly, and she stood under a wide black umbrella with a dim gaze. Didn't you remember me just now? Why don't you know each other now, she said she still had a sweet smile on her face, but her dark and gloomy gaze reminded people of the fierce ghost walking in the dark, and she suddenly felt a chill behind her. You, are you Wen Rong? Suddenly, someone exclaimed Wen Rong's identity in shock, but it was quickly refuted. How could it be Wen Rong? Didn't she go to prison? The police have reported it before, and some paparazzi have also captured videos of Wen Rong being handcuffed and taken away. This Thor's hammer is so hammered that it's impossible for Wen Rong to be here. Wen Songza was squatting at the pancake stall with his head in his arms when he suddenly heard his daughter's name and stood up. When he saw Wen Rong holding a black umbrella in front of him, he was also stunned and for a moment, he was a bit unsure. Rong Rong. Wen Rong looked back at him and said, Dad, I'm late. Under the overpass, the onlookers were all shocked and the onlookers in the live broadcast room were also stunned. Sleeping slot. It's really warm. Didn't it mean she went in? This white lotus used to imitate Yi Chue's dressing style, but now it's in a different style, and I can't even recognize it. I said where did the crazy woman hit people? 
It turned out to be that crazy person named Wen Rong. Ah ah, this sister has an amazing appearance. What kind of imitation is she? She's not inferior to that Yi Chu Wei, is she? Upstairs, my brain is numb and my powder is rolling thick. No matter how beautiful your sister looks, she is also a murderer. Don't just follow her facial features. By the way, isn't it said that when Rome was sent to the prison by Mr. Fu to sing Iron Window Tears? How could he appear here? Did he escape from prison and sneak out? The netizens in the live broadcast room have different opinions, and the internet celebrity paparazzi present are no less puzzled than them. Watching the increasingly popular live broadcast room, a host, under the strong attack of fans constantly brushing gifts, braved his fear of Wen Rong and asked everyone curious questions. Wen Rong, how could you be here? Shouldn't it be a jailbreak? Hurry up and defeat the demon spirits. Wen Songz's heart skipped a beat and nervously pulled Wen Rong behind her, stuffing all the money in her pocket into her hand. Rong Rong, run quickly. The farther you run, the better. Don't worry about me. When Rong held the money motionless and said helplessly, Dad, I haven't escaped from prison. Although she has this ability, she should appear openly in front of everyone, rather than avoiding XC. When Songza suddenly looked at her with heartache and regret in his eyes, his voice choking up. Did that bastard Fu Xiohan take your kidney, that's why he let you out. As he spoke, he even glanced at her slender waist, as if she could be seen from the outside with her waistband. When Rong's mouth twitched slightly and shook his head. Now even when Songza couldn't understand. When Rong's tone was somewhat helpless. Dad, I have been acquitted. When Songza was stunned, and due to shock, his voice couldn't help but increase. Is he acquitted? Seeing Wen Rong nodding, Wen Songza was so excited that tears welled up in his eyes. Ha ha ha. That's great. I knew we, Rome Rome, were innocent. We will definitely be acquitted. He was so excited that he wanted to hug Wenrong, but he saw that Wenrong was clean and tidy like a fairy, and his whole body was covered in vegetable leaf and egg liquid, and he stopped the embrace movement. When Rome's heart sank and she suddenly hugged him, saying, Dad. End of this chapter. Chapter 10 Wasting food is shameful. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Wasting food is shameful The internet celebrities and paparazzi who were broadcasting and taking photos around were also shocked, and then the crowd boiled, and the netizens in the live broadcast room were also shocked. Sleeping slot When Rome was actually acquitted. How could that be? I still have the video of her driving into Yi Chu Wei back then, and the evidence is conclusive. Can she still overturn the case? I don't believe it, I don't believe it. At do you care if a prisoner from Shenzhen public security escapes from prison? No matter how shocked and unbelievable the audience and netizens in the live broadcast are, when Songza firmly believes in Wen Rong's words. He didn't want his daughter to be constantly talked about here, so he pushed the pancake stall and pulled her, saying, Velvet, let's go. Dad will take you home. Don't worry for now. Let's settle the accounts before we leave. When Rongfeng's eyes narrowed slightly, took away his umbrella, and dragged his black long umbrella towards the internet famous anchors and paparazzi. The tip of the umbrella handle rubs against the cement floor, making a harsh and unpleasant sound. What are you doing? When Rong, don't mess around. With so many people watching, my fans in the live broadcast room are also watching. Remembering the fierce force that when Rome used to hit people with an umbrella before, they were so scared that they all retreated, but the live broadcast camera in their hands was still aimed at when Rome. The constantly rising popularity of traffic and the accompanying wealth are enough to drive them crazy. This is an era where information explosion drives traffic crazy. What are you doing? No one told you that wasting food is shameful. No one told you that you need to compensate for damaging others' things. The voice is soft and sweet, but it exudes a hint of coldness. 
Jiang Si watched from the side, pondering. Is this sweet girl from Rock Sugar? The warm and long umbrella rose and fell heavily, with screams echoing one after another. They also have something they want to run, but whoever runs, one Rome will block the first one, and the heavier the attack will be. As for their live streaming equipment, it has long been kicked aside by Wen Rong. Previously, it was still live streamed by them, just to tell everyone, especially Fu Xiuhan's dog man and woman. She, Wen Rong, has returned. It doesn't mean she's willing to be watched by so many people like being seen in a monkey show. I'll compensate, I'll compensate. How much are those eggs and lettuce? I'll compensate for them all. Auntie, we're wrong. We're all just trying to make a living. I'll pay you Mr. Wen's medical and mental health expenses right away, so please let us go. Human blood mantu is not kind, but they are delicious. But now the situation is stronger than people, and they can only bow their heads. When Rome didn't care what they thought and glanced at Wen Songza, Dad, come and collect the money. Okay. Speaking of this, when Songz's eyes lit up and he actively picked up the payment code from the pancake stall and ran over to collect the money. When Rong stood beside the umbrella, and when Songza walked up to someone. His slightly smiling gaze fell on the person, making it difficult for them to move easily. Jiang Si looked at the father and daughter and a word came to his mind. Colluding with each other. No, no, it's a scene of multiple fathers showing filial piety to their daughters. Jiang Si sent several photos he had taken before to his younger brother Qin Shu, made a phone call, and explained to him a few words. These internet celebrities are spreading violent content in the live broadcast room, which is not conducive to social harmony and stability. Let's close the account. Qin Shu said, All right. Jiang Si looked at Wen Rong, who was completely different from what they had investigated. His beautiful peach blossom eyes narrowed slightly and he was lost in thought. Last time when Rong asked you to go to the hospital to see your brain, did you go to see it? Qin Shu remained silent for a while and then asked, Boss, I just replied with two words. Where did I offend you? Let you curse me like this. Jiang Si. Dot. End of this chapter.